Hello. In this Java tutorial, you're going to learn about the error, missing return statement, and how to fix it. Before watching this video, you're going to want to have a general understanding of what the return command does. For more information on that, watch the video on methods. You can get to there by clicking on the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Some important things to know about return statements. Except for void methods, every method must have a return statement. Every code path must lead to a return statement, and a method must return the correct data type. We'll discuss these more later. Let's look at this class here. I just called it return error, and we have one method. So everything here is set up fine. We're going to return an int, and here we're returning the number 6. This method doesn't do much, but it's correct. Now let's look at another example. This method is designed just to print the number 6. So we see system out print line 6. Now this is going to give us an error missing return statement. Because right here we're telling it it's going to return an int and we never return an int. In this case we want to change this to void because we don't need to actually return anything from this method. Let's look at another problem. So here we're declaring int x equals 5. And we say if x is greater than 3, we're going to return twice the value of x. Now we have a return statement here, but this return statement only gets called if x is greater than 3. If x is not greater than 3, we're going to get to the end of the method without returning anything, and the Java compiler won't allow that. So to correct that missing return statement error, we're going to put an else. That way, whether x is greater than 3 or it's less than or equal to 3, we're going to return a value. Let's look at this method here. So here we're going to return a string. We're declaring int a equals 5. If a is greater than 3, we're going to return hello. And if a is less than or equal to 3, we're going to return the string goodbye. Now logically, we can see we're always going to return something. However, the compiler isn't smart enough to realize this. So the compiler is going to say, well, what if a is not greater than 3? And what if a is not less than or equal to 3? Again, the way this code is written, that's logically impossible. However, the compiler is still going to give us a missing return statement error. To correct that, we're going to change this to if else. So that way, the compiler knows if this is false, we're always going to go to the else, and either way, we're going to return something. So those are the ways you can get the error, missing return statement, and how to correct them. If you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you'd like to see the complete Java tutorials, click on the playlist link in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Make sure to hit subscribe so you can get updated on all the newest content on this channel.